One night, when the moon was high and shone brightly through the windows of the exhibition hall, Toby was awake. He looked around nervously from side to side. Was that just a floorboard squeaking, or was that the sound of the ghost driver? He shuddered as he could hear the footsteps walking towards him. He shut his eyes tight and opened them slowly. He could see a figure dressed in footplate clothes. The figure then faded away into the darkness. Toby didn't sleep at all that night. He told the other engines the next morning, who all said he was talking utter rubbish. No such thing! My driver's seen him on television! Thomas was hoping Percy wouldn't mention the time he'd been spooked by Percy as the ghost engine. Then an old man walked into the exhibition hall to clean the engines, as he did each day before anybody arrived. James made a comment about the ghost driver to him. The old man looked sad and sat down on a seat where all the engines could see him. Ghost, you say? Yes, I, I saw him last night. Uh, that's because you're a tram engine. Well, because long ago I was a fireman to a driver called Bert, you see. He went on holiday and saw these fascinating little tram engines, and he was absolutely enthralled by them. He went on holiday each year to photograph them. What happened to him? Well, I'll tell you all a story. A long time ago, on a dark night when the world was at war, Bert and me were the crew on an ammunition train. When Bert noticed sparks from the engine had set light to the roof of the van behind us, he knew that if the train blew up here, it would cause destruction to a nearby town. So he brought the train to a stop and told me to uncouple the wagon from the train, then he'd move it away. So I did just that, and as soon as I was out, he moved the loco and the van away. He moved down the line, nearly out of sight, then it happened. A tremendous explosion. Poor Bert didn't see the sun come up the next day, nor did his engine. Years later, people say that they've heard footsteps around the yard, and I'm in no doubt that Bert did visit you last night, Toby, as it was your line he used to visit each year, and he's probably just coming back to check that you're well. There's nothing to be afraid of. As the old man left the exhibition hall to get his cleaning cloth, a tear ran down Toby's cheek. Come to her, all the engines had tears too. Mm -hmm.